Hey there everyone, Michael here. It's time for another Cooking with Michael episode, and by popular request, we have the Ohana Breakfast Bread Pudding. I am so excited to try it. I have never tried it here at home before. It's a delicious treat, first thing in the morning at Ohana in the Polynesian Village Resort. Let's make it right here at home. The first thing we want to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Done. Now we're going to mix some of those first ingredients together in a large bowl. In our large bowl, we're going to add our nutmeg, salt, milk, sugar, and five eggs. I'm going to take these first three, and I'm gonna juggle them here on, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not a boardwalk busker. We've got five eggs, let's get to it. Speaking of the boardwalk buskers, I actually haven't seen them in a long time. Last time I saw them, I was really, really small, and they actually knew my name. I had been to Disney so many times, visiting my grandparents, having a great time. They knew my name. They said, Michael and his family are here. This Visiting, what a memory that was. And there we go, five eggs. Now we're going to add three cups of milk. And there's three cups of milk. Now the recipe calls for one half teaspoon salt. You can find the full recipe in the description of this video. But I'm gonna just put in just a hint of salt, just like that, all set to go. I'm not sure why I do that with the salt. And just put a pinch in. I think I've just learned it over time. Now we need half a teaspoon of nutmeg. There we go. Now it's time for the sugar, and we need one and a half cups. Now we're going to blend our ingredients together. Not too much, but just enough until they're combined. That looks great. Now we're going to set this bowl aside for just a little bit later. We'll come back to it, and now we're going to get to the bread portion of our bread pudding. Now the recipe calls for either Ohana breakfast bread, but if you don't have that, you can also buy French bread from the supermarket. So I've got some French bread here. Maybe I'll try making that Ohana breakfast bread on another adventure. But today we're gonna to cut this up and make our bread pudding out of this bread. Now the recipe calls for two inch thick pieces of bread. And I know what you're thinking, Michael, that's a little bit too thick for, for bread, right? Well, well, let's give it a try. I have a feeling and this recipe is going to surprise us. Now I'm gonna cut the heel off here, so I'm not using that, but I'm going to use the piece right after that. I'm gonna go about two inches, just about like that. You know, I'm not measuring with a ruler, and that should be great. So that is the first piece of our Ohana breakfast bread pudding. So I'm gonna cut all uh, two inch pieces throughout this entire loaf. Now that loaf of bread gave us six of those two inch pieces. They look great, but now we're going to transfer all of these pieces of bread onto a cookie tray and then put them in the oven. Now the bread pieces are on this cookie tray. I'm gonna put it into the oven at 350 degrees, but at first I'm thinking to myself, that, that doesn't make any sense. You're gonna bake them and then try and soak up that egg and milk mixture, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna full and honest try here. So it, the recipe says they should be lightly golden bread Brown toasted, just under toasted. So if I think 15 minutes is too long, I'm gonna cut it short. But let's go give this a try. Into the oven they go. It's been about 13 and a half minutes. They look golden brown, absolutely perfect. So you gotta keep an eye on them, but wow, they, they turn out really well. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Now that our bread is lightly toasted, we're going to grab our egg and milk mixture, bring that back into the picture, and grab this 10 inch baking pan that I greased in advance. So we're all set to do something very interesting. What we're going to do is take each piece of bread and actually dunk it into this egg and milk mixture. You can use your fingers or you can use a fork and just push it all the way down in there, let it get fully saturated. And then what we're going to do is put this piece of bread onto this tray. Now what you're going to see me do is actually pour all of this liquid on top of these pieces of bread. We're gonna do that in just a minute. And you might be asking, Michael, why do you need to do that? The reason is we want it on top. I'm gonna to show you what I mean in just a minute, but take a look, each piece of bread going in this milk and egg mixture and give it a few seconds. Let it sit in there, getting all nice and soaked. Flip it over a few times and you're all set. Think of it like French toast. We're almost making French toast, but it's a little bit different. It's unique, it's Disney, it's special. This thicker piece of bread isn't fully submerging. Look at that, I have to move the, uh, the tray around a little bit to get it fully submerged, wow. And you can see I have pieces of all sizes, some bigger, some smaller, so I'm gonna let you know which one turns out better. Okay, one more piece left to go. It's a really small one here, but I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. Okay, there is our last piece of bread. It looks great. Now what we're going to do is we're actually gonna pour this entire mixture on top of this bread. So we want the mixture to be all around there so it can soak in as it's baking. I think this is really cool. Here we go, you ready? There, oh my gosh, spilled a little bit, but we're still good. Going right on top of all of them. Look at that, that looks delicious. You want it to go everywhere. Just, it's in the, in the pan, in the pan. We want it to go everywhere, but wow. 
Yum, 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 this looks delicious. As you can see, I got most of it in the pan there, and as I'm cleaning this up, I'm going to reset the oven to 325 degrees. So take it down a few degrees, and then we're gonna put this entire mixture of bread and milk and eggs and everything else right in there. But first, let the uh, oven cool down to 325, and then we're gonna do it. Okay, the oven has cooled down, and the mess is just about cleaned up, so we're gonna move this entire tray into the oven at 325 degrees for one hour. It's gotta sit in there for one hour before it's done. Let's do it. Now, since this is the first time I'm making the Ohana breakfast bread pudding here at home, I'm going to keep a close eye on this one hour in the oven. You know, I, I trust the recipe is correct, but I want to keep an eye on it. But it won't feel like an hour to you. It's going to feel like just a second. Take a look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? You can see the, uh, the egg and milk mixture hardened in the middle. I did not expect that at all. It kind of looks interesting. I don't know if it'll taste exactly like the breakfast bread pudding, but I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Now we're going to make that banana topping to put on top. Let's do it. To make that banana banana foster sauce, we're going to grab a large bowl and put sugar and bananas inside. Let's start with that sugar. Okay, to get four ounces of sugar, we've got our handy scale here. I'm going to put a little cup right on top and we're going to go for four ounces. Okay, four ounces of sugar. Okay, now we've got four ounces of brown sugar along with four ounces of corn syrup. We're going to put it into the mix right here. Now we're going to put in four ounces of butter. After the four ounces of butter, we're going to put in half a cup of heavy cream. Just like that. Now we're going to mix it up and then we have to put it on the stove to heat it up. Okay, here we go. Looks great. Now that everything's in the bowl right here, we're going to put it all into this pan and heat it up on the stove. We have to bring it to a boil and then we're going to add another half of heavy cream to the mix. Okay, our mix has been brought to a boil. I'm going to put it back on the heat in just a second, but now the recipe calls for one cup of rum. And I am not a drinker, as you know, so I had to go out and get this because I had had zero in the house. So I have this spice rum here, Captain Morgan. It says to do one cup. Now all we're going to do is is light it on fire and put it on the top. I'm a little bit worried about this, but I have a process I think that I'm going to make it really safe, put it on top, and make it uh, flambe is what they call it. So let's give this a try. Okay, we've got the beginning of our banana foster sauce right here. Here is our one cup of rum, and now I'm going to try and light it. Now I've never done this before. Wish me luck. Let's hope this is done in one take. I kind of want to stand back for a minute. Are you ready for this? We're going to try and light it. Uh, uh. All right, we're trying one more time. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, that's super scary. Six and a half hours later. Now I tried everything, just about everything. I tried heating it up, putting it on a small dish, putting a little bit out. I can't light this on fire. I don't know, I have to find some kind of different rum to flambe Disney items with. So that'll be on a future cooking with Michael, no doubt about it. But now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna take the um, bread pudding right there. We're gonna put it on this plate by flipping it over. You ready? Here we go, there it is. Wow, that came out far better than I thought it would. Wow, that is truly incredible. Take a look at that bread pudding. <laughs> I am so impressed. Are you seeing this? Take a look at that. That is extremely impressive. It really looks like the bread pudding from Ohana. Let's grab that sauce and pour it on top. Now I'm gonna take a few pieces off of this larger chunk here so we have enough room for that sauce. We can pour it right on. So here's a nice big old piece right there. That looks absolutely delicious. Let's scoot this one right over there. That looks great. Now let's pour the sauce on this one, then I'll pour the sauce on the rest of them. Okay, here's a little bit of that sauce. Very warm, right from the top of the stove. Wow, that looks delicious. Look at that. It's not flambéed, I understand that, but I have a feeling it's still going to be great. I'm gonna show you this, take a look. Doesn't that look incredible? I mean, absolutely incredible. I'm so impressed with how this turned out. Now we have to add our banana, of course. I'm gonna peel it here and cut a few slices to put right next to it. Then we're gonna add some ice cream because you need that ice cream with this bread pudding. It's a must, an absolute must. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Ice cream, banana, and bread pudding. Bon appetit. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I cannot recommend that highly enough. It tastes just like the bread pudding. I will be eating this for a few days to come. You can be reassured. And I guess calories from Disney recipes don't count. Can we say that? Thanks so much for joining me for another Cooking with Michael. It was a lot of fun to share it with you. Let me know if you give it a try in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.